In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for OSF4. So for this structure here, this thionyl tetrafluoride, we first need to count the valence electrons up. Oxygen group 16, sometimes called 6A, we have 6, plus sulfur is right below oxygen, it has 6. Fluorine has 7 valence electrons, but we have 4 of those. So we're going to multiply that by 4, add all this up, we'll get a total of 40 valence electrons for the OSF4 Lewis structure. So let's put the least electronegative element in the center. That's the sulfur. Put the sulfur here. We'll put the oxygen on top, and then the fluorines will just spread out around it. So we have 40 total valence electrons for our Lewis structure. We'll put them between atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. So at this point, we've used 10 valence electrons. Sulfur, it has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, but that's okay because it can have an expanded octet. Let's complete the octets on these other atoms here. So at this point, we've used all 40 valence electrons. We have octets for all of these atoms here. And then the central sulfur, it has more than eight, but that's okay, it can have an expanded octet. So this looks like a pretty good Lewis structure. The problem is, if we look at the formal charges, the oxygen, that would be a minus one, and the sulfur here, that's a positive one. And we'd like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. So if we take this pair of electrons here and form a double bond, now we're still using the 40 valence electrons. The oxygen, it still has an octet. Everything's pretty much the same, except now we have a double bond. Sulfur has an extra pair of electrons, but it can have an expanded octet. The difference is the formal charge is now, for the oxygen, that's zero. And for the sulfur, the formal charge is zero as well. Same for all the fluorines. So by making a double bond, we have more favorable formal charges. So this means that this is the most likely or best Lewis structure for OSF4 with the double bond. Let's take a quick look at the molecular geometry. So this is our central sulfur atom. We'll add the double bonded oxygen here. And as we add the fluorine atoms, we have four. You see everything spreads out. We end up with a molecular geometry that is trigonal by pyramidal. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and the molecular geometry for OSF4. Thanks for watching.